So we're going to move on to recording our first videos in Movie Maker um, with a webcam. So the first thing you want to do is actually click on webcam video. And we should get our webcam open up. There you go, here I am. And to record, you just click on record. And we'll do a quick couple of minutes, well, less than a couple of minutes, let's just say 20 seconds of me talking. And here we want to insert a picture. So say I was talking about a car, and I wanted to insert a picture of a car in the actual timeline in between my video. I'll show you how to do that next. So once you've finished making your video, press stop. And that's it, save your capture, whatever you want to call it. Well, let's call this tutorial. And do I want it in my pictures? Uh, I'll put it on the desktop because I'll delete it afterwards. So here we are. Now, one of the issues we have now is we want to insert our story, our picture, but we don't actually want to lose our audio because we have a full audio here. As you can see, it's inside the the image. I don't know if I can zoom in with it. No, it won't let me scroll zoom. But you have, see where it's going up and down? That's your audio. You know, this is the little spikes you're seeing. But it's inside there. We, we want to remove that. So what we want to do is save the movie, just scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see one audio only settings. So we'll save the audio and we'll call it audio one. Well, audio only will do actually. Do you want to replace it? Yeah. And then what we want to do is import it again. So we want to open the folder, drag and drop, and we'll take it to the beginning. And you can see our audio is now separate. So then we double click on the video and we go video volume and we put that down to zero. So there's no audio on the video, it's taking this audio source here. And you'll see why in a second why this makes sense. So now I want to do an example of how to insert an image. So imagine you're doing a autobiography or want to insert a car like we're doing here. So when you actually start talking about the person or the car, you want it to move away from this video and actually show the image of the person or the car. So the first thing we'll do here, we'll, just, we'll get we'll do to a quick a couple of minutes, minutes, well, less than a couple of minutes, where we actually start saying, I will insert the image. Let's just say 20, 20 seconds, seconds of me talking. And here we want to insert a picture. See, so here we want to insert a picture. I already know, because I've written this down already, that 10.03, is where I want to cut cut it and to where I want to start the image. So clicking this will go back, this one will go forward in small sections instead of running it because it can be quite difficult if you press play it can jump um, forward a lot faster. So was it 10.03? Just double check, 10.03, 10.03. So one more back, there we go. Click split. And where I want this to end is on here again, 1547. So we'll play this forward. So say I was talking about a car and I wanted to insert a picture of a car. So it's 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 47. I always double check things yeah, from woodworking. It's... Um, Check twice, cut once. So, same goes with this video editing. <laughs> Check I've got the 1547, 1547, and that's where I want it to stop showing the picture. So I split this again. And now that should, it hasn't done it, has it? Uh, okay, back to 1547. 1547, split. There we go. That section there is the bit we're going to take out and insert an image. So we know that our, our start and end places. Um, if I pull this up here. So it starts at 10.03. So that's our start. And our finish is 15.47. So we know that is where this starts and ends. 
Why this is important is you need it to match when you add your image. And the easiest way of doing it, I'll show you how to do the quick calc on this. I mean, I know it's simple, but just so everybody understands how to do it. So you take 10.03, which is your start point, and you del your finish point is 15.47, so minus 0.47, which leaves you 5.44 seconds of time that is on the screen. That From there to there is 5.44 seconds. It'll become relevant in a second. So we want to remove that. And we want to insert a picture. And I have a picture here. And we currently says it's seven seconds duration. But we know we actually want 5.44 because that is the length of the video clip we just removed. And it's already at the right start point. So when we put this in here, the duration is actually correct. And you should see this realign properly. There you go. So we play our video from the start now. We'll do a quick couple of minutes, well, less than a couple of minutes, let's just say 20 seconds of me talking. And here we want to insert a picture. So say I was talking about a car, and I wanted to insert a picture of a car in the actual timeline in between my video. I'll show you how to do that next. So once you've finished making your video, press stop. And it's as simple as that. Um, watch the first tutorial if you want to know about titles and other bits and pieces because this tutorial is at how to insert images. Now if you want to do video in video um, or picture in picture, uh, Movie Maker doesn't have that feature. This is as close as it can get to it by inserting images on your timeline um, of your audio. So basically you remove out the, ima the, uh, the video piece and insert your image. So as you see, what I did is I talked through what I wanted visually to be seen and I continued over the bits I would actually insert. A bit like doing a projector screen um, speech or whatever where you've got all the slides going on behind you but you can insert them later and this is how to do it with Movie Maker. Hope this helped. Yeah. Thanks for watching.